cutting out a nice long shape for the area I just showed you. Oh, you make it a little hotter and it just burns through. That's kind of what you're getting into. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like... How the hell is it supposed to even seal, right? The ghetto-ness of it. <laughs> Alright, I see it now. I'll we'll probably cut this chunk out of here. Yeah. Luke's not too thrilled. Cutting into the bondo in their, in their rotted rocker. For anyone who's wondering, this is fucking Matt's idea. Okay? <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> I mean, the other idea, Luke, is a whole new rocker, right? Was yeah. that a half inch of bondo? <laughs> yeah, that was for me like a long time ago. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we're getting into some good shit over here. <laughs> oh, look at the dust, too. Yeah, fucking up my welding. <laughs> how much of this is bond? All of it? I don't think so. I mean, I mean. Be butt ass ugly, I'll tell you that. <laughs> How come it's coming off, dude? You gotta fucking grind, fucking. You gotta try to find some metal, man. Dust, man. You can't probably pick it up on camera, but getting into the bondo, dude. <laughs> oh no, the... that's not what you want, is it, Luke? The bondo clouds. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good God, man.
All right, get you guys off of the stand here, show you where we're at. From this angle, it looks great. Until you get to the inside, which he's working on now. All right, before you start grinding here, one sec. Shine that light up there once. This is what we're working with, this freaking piece of metal uh, that we're welding onto the rocker to seal it does not want to sit flat because of the freaking pinch weld. So now Luke's literally going to cut the pinch, you're going to cut the pinch weld off, aren't you Luke? No. I'm going to hopefully run it along the pinch weld and then fucking weld it to the pinch oh, weld. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes hopefully it's not looking too hot, so yeah. I guess right. we'll see what happens. So you're cutting the piece of metal on the on this side of the pinch weld, on the outside? Uh, either or. Okay. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Surprised there's any metal left down here, man. Holy crap. Well you keep replacing it, so yeah. It keeps coming back. Get in your eye? Yeah. I got goggles, but... Fucking Bondo on. Alright, we'll check back in with Luke once we get this cut in. Good time! Had to open it up. <laughs> okay. All right, bit of an update. Uh, Luke is on the other side now, so he is sealing up uh, the driver's side. He's got the passenger side all done, but here's uh, here's him going to town on the driver's side. Lots of weld. There it is before we cut off the excess. Alright, keep you guys updated once we have uh, some more progress.
All right, if you guys have been following along, you know by now my kind of paint setup here in the garage. So um, we are about, it's the next day now, and we're about to paint the, uh, the rear quarter panel area. That's all sealed up. Kind of showed you guys yesterday taping it off and prepping it for now. Uh, but it's clean as I could get it, and uh, we're ready to uh, spray it with, we're going to do a uh, self-etching primer. So it's just this Rust-Oleum self-etching primer. Um, and then we'll hit it with a uh, an undercoating. So um, we've got the fan going. <laughs> you guys have seen this before. I'll open that door, and then I will pop the two-stall just to get some air flowing here. And then, uh, yeah, we'll throw on the respirator, respirator goggles, and we will get going. And I will just, I'll set the camera down here so you guys can get an idea of how it's going uh, as we uh, spray. But yeah, this whole area, get the light on for you, whole area, nice and sealed off and clearanced. So now we have a ton of extra space for uh, the wheel and tire to move up. And uh, yeah, it should keep the debris and all that out. Um, but yeah, just a little recap. So self-etching primer, and then we'll come back and we'll seam seal all these little uh, corners here. I'm gonna really lay it on thick to try and seal it from smoke and water best I can. Uh, and then once the seam sealer is down, then we will do the undercoating on top of that. But yeah, there it is, and let's get to it. All right, let's get after it. We got the trigger on there, and the uh, fan's going, doors open. Let's get the spray. That's three coats. I think we'll just do one more just to be sure, but it looks pretty good so far. Nice and gray. A few spots I could see where I'll lay it on a little thicker in these edges too. But yeah, it looks great so far. Pretty happy with the coverage. And uh, once the uh, self etching primer dries, we'll come back with the seam sealer. Nice. Alright, I'll update you guys when I do the seam sealer. Alright, we are coming back with the sim seam sealer now. Um, I got some, uh, what is this, Dynatech or Dynatron seam sealer gray, some 3M stuff. So uh, yeah, we got to seal up all these edges right here. I uh, cut the nozzle pretty wide and then I'm going to come back with this popsicle stick and just uh, spread it out and seal it all up. So yeah, I'll put you guys down there and you can watch as we go.
All right, guys. Uh, we just got done seam sealing everything, uh, and it, it's looking good. Um, we left the top seam, so this seam, you know, right around the top edge. I'm gonna get that one uh, when I do the, uh, yeah, when I do the uh, top side here, because this is all uh, needs to be refinished too, where I have the tape line, because it's grinded green. You know, the green is grinded away. So we'll handle this final seam. You know, once we do that. But uh, yeah, here it is. Let me get the light on it for you. But yeah, look at that. I mean, not the prettiest in some spots, but had some fairly large gaps. Luke did really good for the most part, though, man. Like, um, it only really kind of fell apart down here, and that was not his fault at all. Like, big, big gaps, because this really isn't the proper way to do it. This is kind of this plate is just kind of a cap over a, over a damaged rocker. So, not really that proper. But yeah, this is the worst of it. I had to show you guys this. I was talking about this. Uh, so this is where he literally had nothing to uh, weld to. So yeah, I mean, you can't even see it now because of all the seam sealer, but yep, not a lot here to work with. So, yep, there she is though. And uh, sealed up as best as I could get it. So I'm happy with it, man. Uh, then we'll just come back with the, uh, the bed liner. Or the uh, undercoat, I guess it's called. But yeah, look at that. Heck yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the the uh, sealing of the quarter because this is satisfying, man. Now I'll be finally able to uh, run US Air uh, and not bottom out on the, uh, the wheel arch. And then uh, it was really letting in a lot of smoke and crap. So I hope this helps. It should a lot. But yeah. Okay, a little update here on the uh, uh, quarter panel sealing project. We have everything sealed, I'll show you here. Everything is nice and sealed up with the seam sealer. It's almost been 24 hours, uh, which is good. Uh, if it goes any longer than 24, the instructions say you have to scuff it and stuff, so we'll get it before the 24 hours. So we are gonna go back with undercoating now and uh, coat the whole thing. I also have a little uh, fuel cell breather filter that sits right in this pocket up here where the uh, gas door opens. And it used to get showered in rubber uh, from you know tires and, and drifting and all that. So I made a little shield for it right here and uh, that just will keep the rubber off of the filter. So yeah, we'll, we'll throw the shield up there and then we will undercoat this whole thing. And uh, I'll throw you guys on the GoPro so you can watch as we go. All right, let's get to spraying the, uh, the undercoat. Let's go for it. Got the trigger on there, like uh, as normal. I love this thing. If you're gonna be spraying a lot, it just saves your fingers. Let's get her undercoated.
I had to add a little bit more paper. I don't want to get all this black on the, my nice paint. Ridge call up there. I think it's got good coverage. Uh, we'll see how it dries. Hope I didn't get too much black crap in my paint. I think we're okay. It'll buff out, right? I think we're good. All right, guys. A bit of a follow up here. Uh, I've got you on the GoPro again today, and we are spraying the trunk. Um, so I showed you guys last night. Uh, as with everything, you know, I was going to install uh, the fuel filter uh, breather for the uh, fuel cell, and I'm like, gosh, this, this needs a new coat of white paint, and it really kind of does. So uh, we taped everything off, and I'll show you guys what we're going to do, and then I'll throw you on the GoPro, and you can watch as we go. Uh, but yeah, basically, the main areas are where we've welded, so you can see where it's burned through in a couple spots. Uh, not as noticeable over there, but up in the upper right hand corner. Um, but yeah, just giving this whole thing a refresh. So we've got the uh, got the fuel cell taped off now, all the lines coming out of the fuel cell and the, the breather hose line uh, that we were talking about just, just a minute ago and the amp. So now we can give everything a uh, fresh coat of gloss white. <clears throat> and I've learned my lesson, uh, so I've kind of just taken extra precautions and and taped a few things off on the back just in case there is overspray. Really shouldn't be since we're like down in here. Um, not super worried about these, you know, areas here. But anyway, yeah, I'll throw you guys on the GoPro and we'll give it a fresh coat of white. It should look a lot better when we're done. All right, we got the gloss white, we got the mask on and the glasses. Let's get to it. Thank <laughs> you. 